Haley and today I'm starting my last classroom prep vlog before I start my classroom setup series which is so exciting. If you're new I'm going to be a first year fifth grade teacher in the fall aka in like a month from now. Here in Massachusetts though we did get like a 10 day extension so we won't be starting the official school year with the kids until September 16th I think it is at the earliest but I got the official email that we are all set to start coming in and setting up our classrooms on Monday um, so as long as the principals in the building we can be there 8 30 to 2 30 we are allowed to bring one person to help us set up and on Monday I think I'm just gonna go by myself kind of get a feel for everything let it sink in and start on some like projects that I can just do by myself and then maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday sometime during the week I'll have my mom come help me um, because she has like a bigger van that I can fit like my book display in. Today's vlog is gonna be really exciting because this is like the last minute prep which is like obviously just the most exciting time. We are so close to setting up and it's just getting really exciting. Brendan's aunt and uncle cleared the rest of my classroom wish list for my graduation party which was so nice of them so literally nothing's on my classroom wish list anymore I have everything I had on there which is insane also for my graduation party my mom had put on the invitation to just like bring like a classroom supply item like crayons pencils whatever so a lot of my family members brought a ton of different like school supplies so I have a big back stock of that which is really exciting and helpful so I think to start off the vlog I'm just gonna show you guys Everything I've accumulated that will be moved into my classroom next week. Today is Thursday. Um, I was supposed to get my printer today in the mail, but it's coming tomorrow. So I might combine today and tomorrow into one vlog. Just because I do want to show you guys, like, unboxing my printer, setting up HP Instant Ink and all that fun stuff. And then I have a ton of stuff that I want to print. On Tuesday, I actually went to my school to help laminate and cut these little light bulbs for our PBIS. So that was fun. I got to chat with some coworkers. And then I also got to peek into my classroom for a little bit and took some more pictures. Now they actually have the desks spaced apart three feet. Um, three feet is the minimum that Desi recommended. Obviously six feet wherever you can. As of right now, the district is saying we're going to return in person full time like everyone there. But I definitely think that's going to change to either hybrid or or just full-on distance learning so we will see but right now I have like 24 desks in my room I only have 17 kids as far as I know um, so maybe I'll be able to get some of those desks out but if we do the hybrid I would only have like 10 desks in there which is nice because obviously with a three feet spacing it's basically just the whole room is just desks so I'm gonna show you guys all of this stuff that I plan to bring into my classroom on Monday just for some context, this is like a playroom, as you can see, um, but this is where I've just been accumulating all my stuff. It started in the closet, and then it just kind of exploded everywhere. So I have these three topins of books for my classroom library. These are obviously books for my classroom library. I have two more topins under here with books as well, but the blue bin is all like younger grades, because when I started collecting books, I obviously didn't know which grade I'd end up teaching my first year, so those are like K-2 through two books that I'm not going to bring. This I actually picked up at Ikea the other day. It was 10 bucks. It's just like one of those little side tables. Um, so I'll have to figure how to set that up. I have my money kit, which is going to be my classroom economy. I've come to the conclusion that I do want to laminate the money, as you guys suggested in my previous classroom prep vlogs. Um, however, I'm going to see if I can use the school laminator because it would just be way too much lamination sheets to do all 600 bills <laughs> so there's like one of those huge laminators in the school so I'm gonna try to do that these are some notebooks I picked up the 25 cent ones. so these are from Staples um, I'm thinking red for their um, readers notebook and then I have blue from Target that will be their math notebook and I think I'm just gonna stick with these two for now I did want a notebook for every subject but like I don't even know obviously for sure if we'll be back in person so I don't want to buy too much right now I have these six little desktop like organizers and in here I just already put I had one pack that I got from my wish list um, of 25 file folders so these are 25 so I was thinking like 10 and 10 could be for like all my students data maybe and then these five could be like whatever I want to organize um, and then I do want to get another pack of these these are just plain black from like the Amazon basics these are just my book stickers and my genre label stickers. I need to add stuff to this. I forgot poetry and graphic novels, so 
I'm going to add on to this. Over here is some of the stuff that I got from my graduation party. So I have like three boxes full of like random school supplies, which is really awesome. This organizer that I got from Facebook Marketplace. This basket from Hobby Lobby. And then in here I kind of just have stuff mostly for like my desk or... Um, I don't know. It's kind of just random. And then that's like the DS with games. I don't even know if we'll be able to use that. Microphone, lightsaber, um, some pens and an extra planner. So this will go like by my desk, I think. Also for my classroom wish list, I got a teacher toolbox finally. I'm so excited. So I'm making the labels for those. Um, this is the Iris brand one with, I think there's 24 containers. My turn-in bins that are labeled with levels of understanding. These are book bins for series. I have this wooden five that I want to paint white and then add little black specks with my silhouette with like vinyl. So don't know when I plan on doing that, but hopefully soon. My big timer that Brendan got me for my wish list. I do have these two cactus pillows, but again, I don't know. Maybe I'll just bring them in, but then shove them in the closet. I have my guided math and guided reading carts. These mini baskets, which right now I just have the flashlights in. I don't think they're going to stay like this. I have these art markers from Parku. I love this brand. You can find them on Amazon. I will have them linked to my Amazon storefront down below, so definitely check them out, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway with them, so definitely stay tuned for more information on that. I have this treasure box from the Target Dollar Spot. I think I'm going to do this as like an inference box. Um, I was watching Elementary in the Mittens haul video, and she mentioned that she got the idea from the veteran teacher she worked with. Um, and I thought that was really cute. And I have like a globe that my mom got me for my classroom. Over here I have like an anchor chart that I had from student teaching. Um, more clear containers. Two of the Michaels like photo keepers. A three drawer cart which has like a bunch of supplies in there. My calendar chart and then another black pocket chart. These are the wrapping papers that I'm going to use as bulletin board paper. And then we have in the closet and <laughs> we have a lot more stuff. So I have all these topins. Um, that one isn't my stuff. Um, all the book bins, my borders from the Target dollar spot, clipboards, um, Magnetic board and little dry erase board. These containers, these are like my back stock supply containers that I labeled. So this is going to be like behind closed doors most likely. I do have a huge storage unit that's all open. So maybe actually I will put this in the open storage since it is like pretty organized and will look good. But I don't like when things are like out in the open. Um, so we'll see how I feel. This is like my math bin, beginning of the year slash decor bin. Um other subject bin and I think that's holidays or something and I just moved to the garage but I also have my rocking chair that was spray painted white my stage that my stepdad put together and spray painted black this table I got for free um, from like a childcare center that was like getting rid of a bunch of furniture and my mom painted this with whiteboard um, spray paint or paint, I don't know. This is dry erase which is really cute and I was thinking of using this as like a floor table, like kids will just sit around it because it is like a short table. And then this is my book display, so that's like the four pieces of like furniture that I have. Um, on Monday, I might be able to fit my stage in my car, so maybe I'll bring the stage, but nothing else is most likely going to fit in my car unless that's, like, all I bring, so I'm going to wait until my mom can come one day to help me because she has, like, a van that'll fit this stuff. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll bring my stage on Monday, but other than that, I'm going to have to hold off. So that is pretty much everything that I'm bringing on Monday or like throughout the time of classroom setup. I'm going to try to fit as much as I can in my car for Monday. Um, I really want to get started on my classroom library, so I'm definitely going to bring all the topins with the books in them. Um, all like my book related stuff. Um, and then I'll try to bring all the topins in the closet, and that's probably what will fit in my car so and maybe like this little storage unit like I don't know I'm gonna try to fit as much as I can because I do want to bring as much as I can obviously all this stuff has been sitting here for a really long time and I'm just ready to move it out to where it belongs um, so that it's not just sitting here anymore <laughs> one thing I do need to do before Monday is get some command strips because I do want to hang up some stuff I have like some quotes I want to put up and then I also need like the command hooks 
for like my string lights and I think I have somewhere maybe in the back to school bin command strips left over from like when I was doing my like college dorms I always had like an abundance of like command strips and command hooks so I think I put like a little baggie with whatever was left over in my in one of the topins. I did see a value pack on Amazon for like $16.99 that had like a ton of the little poster strips which will be good for like the quotes I want to hang. Then a lot of the other stuff I want to do is going to be vinyl so that will be able to like stick up by itself. Um, but I do have like some decorations here and there and just like uh, my magnetic board I need to hang with command strips. So I honestly think that's it for today's portion of the vlog because I'm not really doing much today. I'm just waiting on my printer essentially. So definitely keep watching because I will see you guys tomorrow when I get my printer. So it is now Friday and I finally just got my printer from FedEx. Not even going to talk about FedEx because... I don't like them. I also got a really cute package from WGU. I talked about it in a couple videos, but I am officially starting WGU on August 1st for my master's program. I'm doing the uh, master's in curriculum and instruction, which is really exciting. And they sent over a cute little like welcome package. So it came with these little stickers. I really like the white one. I'll probably put it in my car. And then this cute little doorknob sign. One side says night owl at work. And then the other side says night owl testing. This little cup mug thing and a little dry erase board with a dry erase marker so that was like super cute and now I'm finally gonna open my printer so this is my printer it's the HP NV6055 um, like 3-in-1 print scan copy and then it's also wireless um, and then I mainly got it for the HP Instant Ink program and I have two free months I think when I set this up I'm thinking of doing the $4.99 a month plan but I might even do the $9.99 a month to get 300 pages a month. I don't know. And I'm not sure if you can like switch back and forth because that would be convenient too. But... So my printer is all set up and I just signed up for the HP Instant Ink. I get like the free two months from buying the printer and then I also get a free month because of a friend's referral code. Karina at Learning with Miss Lee gave me hers so that was awesome. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the huge stack of things that I printed. Um, I did print these on green cardstock just to see how they'll look. I might switch this to white, but I felt like I just had everything printed on white, so I wanted to add some color to the classroom, but we'll see how I like them. I figured green because it's like about money, so... Those are for our classroom economy, kind of like display type thing. I only printed three pages of the um, positive affirmations instead of the four that I had because my pack of Astro Bites paper only came with three of each color. And this is like the white speckled paper. You can't really see, but it has like colorful specks on it. My callbacks I did on cardstock, and I'm going to be laminating these. Um, my genre poster going to be laminating. These are student numbers for mailboxes. I'm going to be laminating these as well. This is like a prep schedule. Um, this was on cardstock. I might put this in like a picture frame or something so that I can just use a dry erase marker instead of like printing one every week. So that's why I printed it on cardstock. Um, this is just regular paper. I needed to print some more labels for my containers. And then a lot of stuff I just printed the first copies so that when I get to school I can make copies of them on colorful paper or just plain paper. 
Um, so this is Grow and Glow Notes that I made, just a little template, um, and then I can write a note home. Job application, again, I'm going to be making copies of these. Interest inventories, I'm going to be making copies on colorful paper, so like each subject is going to have a different color. So I'm thinking science green, reading red, math blue, and history whatever other color. <laughs> purple, I don't know, orange, something like that. Printed this communication log and I got so many great free resources. Then I printed out my standards. So I have my history standards, um, math, and reading. But I do need to print out the science standards as well. This free resource is from Jennifer Finley. Um, you can go to teachingtoinspire.com. She has amazing free resources, especially for upper elementary. So this is just an example schedule of launching math centers. And then I printed a bunch of pages from her free guided math binder printables. So amazing. Um, I feel so much more prepared for guided math now that I have like all these sheets so it's literally just like a bunch of sheets to help organize data and plan lessons and like organize um, your small groups um, so there's a lot of great papers from that freebie this was all on her website. So that's basically everything I printed just now. <laughs> I'm using a ring light for the first time. Sorry if you can see the reflection in my glasses, but my friend Brittany, who you guys might have seen in my college vlogs, got it for me for my birthday slash graduation. It comes in handy for when I forget to end my vlogs and then it's like 10 o'clock at night and the lighting is terrible. So I printed probably like over a hundred pages today. Tomorrow's already Saturday and then it's Sunday and then it's a Monday, which means it's a classroom setup. I just honestly can't believe it. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and the next time you see me, I will be setting up my classroom on Monday. As always, I will have everything linked down below in my link tree link and I just added my HP Instant Ink referral link. So if you wanna get one free month of printing and I will also receive a free month of printing, you can use my referral code um, in my link tree link. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.